Hello, so we are back, same Tuesday, and let's fix something. Um, one of the problem is, people send me requests, you know, to fix things, and actually we can't do it. We have so much to work, and I'm alone here. But some, you know, they just search online and they find the, the, the they find the address and they send the things here, and we don't even know from where they come. So we have a, a, a case today, and I ask everyone, and they they don't know nothing about those jobs. Yeah, so let's fix something which we. Uh, we get this package from a subscriber because it's a letter there. We do have a phone number, uh, a contact phone, phone number, yeah. Let me check. Let me check what is here. So we have two laptops. Now because the laptops are here, you know, I can't just send it back like unrepaired. But I remember I seen a let letter somewhere. Oh yeah, that's the letter. So we have two Dell laptops, one uh, doesn't work, power on. And one battery poor socket ripped out. Okay. Let's see. I don't know which one is. Let me check. Inspiron. Inspiron 13, yeah? Okay, battery connector is saying battery connector on mobile ripped off. Okay? So let's fix. Oh, this is the one. Oh, he sent me the new connector. Uh, you know, you know, you know how I feel bad when the people actually don't let me to do my jobs how, how I want. You have a broken connector and you can't fix it. You know, you just solder the wires on the board and it's fine. It's even better. So the best connection is a, a soldered wire, not a connector. On the connectors, you always, always you lose, you lose power. Obviously, you lose power uh, converted in heat. It's not getting hot, but you lose power. That's the way how the things works. Okay? So let's try and fix this quickly and check the other one. Hopefully the other one will be more interesting as it's not coming on. But I always said, you know, and I get a lot of emails from people trying to repair things. And I can't reply. I have too many. I can't reply. And then I, I don't answer. Like, I can't answer. The other people trying to figure it out a fault and people acknowledge, I redirect them to the Discord. Because there are a lot of users, and I'm sure there are good people, uh, they can help. Or at least they can find a schematic there. Well, we are quite in a bad situation because of the publicity of the channel. 
and I feel bad about that. I feel bad because my kind, my 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 uh, my type is if in a room with people, I will be the last one you'll notice there. So this channel goes a little bit too big, a little bit more too big, and I feel bad. Like I don't like the publicity. And uh, we have people coming here from far away just to fix something. And I feel so bad, when, especially when I can't fix it, because obviously you can't fix everything. And uh, the other problem is, people, they try to fix it, and they send the things here. And when you have a job like that, you don't know for what you are looking for, for a fault like the original fault or for a fault caused by someone because if you short something or you come with a power supply somewhere here or you short something with the charger inside i will never find a fault like that okay so what is the battery? the battery is here oh did you thought it's just a soldering job <laughs> Probably no one will send here a soldering job. No, this is the trucks are missing. Let's have a look. Hmm? Give me one second. Okay, so what do we have here? Uh, only bad news we have here, only bad news, only bad news. This is a truck from here, this is good. This is a truck from here, this is good. And these two trucks, these must be together, but I'm not sure. But we can check. Yeah? Let's see. Multimeter. I will, I will uh, use the beeping one. Why those are not together? So we have three together, which obviously is ground. So we should have three of plus. Oh, we have three of plus. These three missing are, are, are the plus one. Wow. Okay, got it now. Got it now. So we really need those trucks, yeah? We really need those trucks. And this is from here, yeah? So these three are all together from here, yeah? These three are all together, it's plus. Yeah, they are coming here. And this is the clock and data. And one is to enable the battery. I have no idea which one. And one is for uh, something else, which I have no idea for what it is. But we still have the trucks. Okay, it's not it's not a, a, a hard job. Or maybe it is, but not that hard. How I thought. So you see, there's no point sending something like that sending here because. Probably anyone with soldering skill can fix uh, a fall like this. Oh, that's the original one. That's the original connector. Yeah, it's coming from here. 
Där. Oh, we don't have a new one. Okay, we have only the original one. Now another problem is uh, actually the repairs on this shop are quite expensive because I'm here and because it's outside of London. London inside of London are, are kind of cheap. Anything in London is cheap when it's about repairs. But we are outside. And, uh, you know, it's about, uh, it's not cheap. Okay, so looks fine. We just need some wires and that's all. Yeah. Yeah. Now give me one second, give me one second. Probably overheating. Plug a charger and see, but looks like it's working. Probably overheating. Probably. It's nothing what can be... Okay, let's uh, use some flux. What do you think? It's not hard, anyone can do it. Anyone with a minimal soldering skill can do it. And with good eyes. Why my solar array is not getting hot?
Because why not? Okay, that's not a problem. Yeah, because these, uh, those are the trucks, uh, the, the ground trucks. Yeah, it's... The heat is getting spread quickly. Okay, next, let's use some wires. Let's rebuild the trucks. You know what? I'm, I'm not gonna lie, this Hako, they, 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 it's supposed to be a 70 watt solar iron. This doesn't look at 70 watts. So that's one truck. Okay. The next one is this. Okay. The next truck is this. Good. And do you have one more? Yeah, and we have one more. Okay. Uh, let me clean the. Let me clean the original connector. Because the trucks are still, uh, were still here. So let's have a look now. What we can do. Okay. Uh, 
Yeah, should be fine. Should be fine. And those pins are banned also. Uh, how can I do it? Any more hit, that's the issue. Any more hit and... Let me try. Go up. So, the buffer on this solder iron... Is... Is just uh, not enough. And the buffer is given by the metal, yeah? By the metal, the tip, the 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 metal, the metal of the of the solar iron, because the heat will uh, it will run out quickly if it's not enough metal. The metal will give you like a buffer. And the board, it will spread the heat quickly. I see, that's what I mean. It's a ground truck. Yeah. So what I will do to make it uh, good, I will take the solder iron. I will get a small tip. Because we have plastic there, we can't mold the plastic. Let's see. 300 degrees, 350. Okay, let's try now. Yeah, it's a different story. With a little bit of heat, it's a different story. Or my solder wire is not good. But with a little bit of heat, you can solve the problem. Okay, so the solder is perfect. What do we have now? Now we have those wires. You know what, I will use a different solder wire. We have this. Okay. And then we have another one here. Good. And then we have another one here. Yeah, and then we have another one here. And we have uh, three plus wires. Okay, the plus wires, they are carry current. So they have to...
Let me find the wire here. Yeah. Probably oh, Max current on uh, this uh, on this battery probably like two amps. Will be nothing more than two amps. Let me cut the wire down. And this is left, yeah? Let's use some hot layer. Perfect. Okay. Let's test now, yeah? Let's see if it's working or not. I will use some hot glue. To straight everything. So this has to go there. No, this. Okay, and this here. First, let's see if it's working. Where is the power button? Yeah. Ah, here. No, it's not coming on. Let's plug a charger. Maybe the battery is not charged. Oh, this is a Dell small pin. It's like HP blue pin. I didn't even test the laptop to see if it's working. Okay, plug the charger. We have light here on the top. Power on, and the uh, orange light is flashing, whatever that means. Power on, it's coming on. AC power adapter wattage cannot be determined. Okay, on this case, the battery it will not charge. Hmm. Why? But this this is this is not a battery issue.
Let me see what he's saying on the Windows about the battery. loading the windows the problem is I don't have another charger for this model of the of the laptop Oh, it's a normal hard drive. I was thinking it's a solid state, but it's too slow for a for a solid state drive. I think the Windows is brand new. Huh? Okay, let's check the battery and so oh. the battery is uh, I'm not even sure if it's the battery or something else. No battery present. No battery present. Wow. Unplug the charger, the laptop goes off. <sighs> I'm not sure if this is a only a connector issue. One more time. Let's double check. So this wire is soldered this one yeah this wire it is solder this is solder this this is solder Now the battery is plugged in, yeah, let me unplug the battery. So this wire is solder on that side, is solder on this side, yeah. This one That's the wire is solder on that side. Uh, it's not anymore. Uh, okay. 
Let's take the connector down. Well, let's check one more time, yeah? Actually, how can I check? I have to rip down the, the wires. Oh, I know how to check. One second. Well, let's see, compare with the ground. This one is connected. This one is connected. This one, no. No, this is not connected. This is just ground. This is a ground. No, this is ground. This is ground. And this one is not connected. And this, see, this is ground. Maybe it's not connected on the board, but it is. I don't remember where this track is going. You know, let's take the pin out, yeah? Because it's only one pin. We have a resistor on the back. The pin is out. And the truck, the truck is here. Okay, let's use another wire. Uh, you see a job like that, which looks easy. Well. So I'll leave the wire here, I'll cut the wire, I'll plug back the pin. Yeah. So we plug back the pin. Now let's solder the wire on top. Okay, so the wire is soldered. Let's check with the multimeter, with on-screen multimeter. Okay, diode mode. And what do we have? Here, we have zero, that's ground. Here, now we have reading, you can see? We have reading. Here, we have reading. Here, we have reading. 
Obviously the other three are ground and these three are plus and we we're gonna solder now back. And now we are sure the connector is soldered properly. Okay. So everything is soldered on place again. Let's plug the battery and check one more time. Plug the charger. Now the yellow light is not flickering anymore. Oh, it is, sorry, it is, it's doing the same thing. The, probably that's because of the adapter. Continue. If the super eye is not speaking with the battery, uh, the battery will not be detected. And the battery it is detected and is charging. Zero percent power mode plugged in. Now, because of the charger, it's not charging. Because the laptop didn't figure it out what charger is, it will not charge. Or if you will charge, if you will charge slowly. But the Super AI is speaking with the battery, which is a good sign. Unplug the charger, the laptop goes off. Let's have a look on the charging port. The charging port looks good. Let me find, try to find another charger, yeah? Give me one second. So. Okay, so I found one. Let's see. With a different charger.
same stories doing the same thing. Oh, well. Let's have a look on the charging port here. Yeah? On the charging port connector is this, and the charger ID pin is on the middle. Is the white one. Let's get the multimeter. Uh, uh, volts. Let's check the voltage on that pin. And we have three point three volts. Let's unplug the charger. Let's check again. We have zero. Okay, so the charging board it is good. I think it's good. Uh, okay, let's check the battery voltage. Ground plus. We have zero. Okay, that can be a problem. Let's get the power supply. We have 12.9. Around one amp. Let's see. Ground. Ground here and plus. And it's charging. No, it's one volt. What? 1.5 volts, one volt. How can be one volt? Let's unplug the battery. Let's check without the battery. Yeah. Minus plus one volt. Okay, so clearly here is a short. Yeah. How can I have one volt? Let's plug the charger. Let's come again with the power supply. And check minus plus one volt. Okay. Let's unplug the charger. Come with the multimeter. With my beeping one. It is short, it's zero, zero. Bro, what I'm doing here, this is ground. This is not plus. And this, this is plus. Wow. Okay, again. Ground plus and it's not short, it's not, it's fine. Yeah, let's plug the battery back. Let's check with the multimeter, but we check the voltage, no voltage there. Let's come with the power supply, and it's taking no power. So, my battery is taking no power at all. Oh, it is taking 1.5 amps. Uh, not anymore. Let's lower the current. One amp and it's going to zero. Let's check the voltage again. On the screen and we have two volts. And it's going down. 
Uh, let's lower the voltage. Uh, lower the current and the voltage. And it's not taking anything now. Okay, let's higher the voltage. And it's not taking any power anymore. Well, let's plug the charger. Let's come with the power supply. And still it's not taking any power. Now it's taking 600 milliamps. And the voltage is going up. Let's uh, raise the current. One amp, ten volts. Let's raise the current. Let's go two amps. And the battery look, it looks like it's charging. One point nine amps. The battery has eleven point three. Okay, good. Now let's take the power supply. Let's unplug the charger. Let's check the voltage on the battery. And we have 9.7. Okay, now let's check the voltage on the charging ID pin. So the voltage here is... Zero. So possible the charging port is good. Let me check one more time. Three point three. Yeah, I don't have the charger. <coughs> Normally it should work. Unplug the charger and the laptop is still on. Okay. Let's plug back the charger.
You know what? I hate these things with the charging ID thingy. Why they couldn't leave the charger with plus and minus? You know, the life was will be more easy for anyone. Only plus and minus, and that's all. So the laptop has the power, yeah, but because he doesn't know what kind of power it is, it will not charge you, which is insane, it's sick. If you have the power, why you don't use it and charge the battery, you know, just charge, like, low current charge, but just charge. one percent so we charge the battery a little bit the battery is one percent so we charge the battery a little bit the battery is charging let's see the voltage is rising on the battery No, because the board doesn't know what charger it is plugged in, which is crazy. Unplug the charger and the laptop is still working. Plug back the charger. Let me try something, yeah, let me power off this. Let me check the voltage on the middle pin here. And the charger of the middle pin is zero. Let me see with this one. With this one, the voltage on the middle pin is zero it has 19 volts but on the middle pin we have zero let's try something else power supply 19 volts I just try to figure it out if it's, if with the right charger will charge or not. Plus, and it's taking 10, 20 milliamps. Obviously, it's not charging with this power. Now I want to check the voltage on the charging uh, ID pin. Charger ID pin. It's 3.3. .3. You know what? I think this will charge with the right charger. But it's nothing more what I can do with this connector. So the problem 
what I'm looking is if the laptop is charging or not because the battery connector is fine and that was the job now let's be sure our connector will be fine here Okay, so we use hot glue to fit the, to make the connector this strong on the motherboard, which is fine, end of story, I done the job. That was the job to feed the connector. We nearly got uh, fooled by the fact actually the three pins broken I actually was uh, ground not plus now if you come with the power supply on the wrong direction with plus and minus and you don't have a current limit bad things can happen there that's why I like the power supply You set up a current limit, not more than 2 amps, I have the power supply has 5 amps and you are safe, most of the time you are safe, not always, even with 2 amps you can uh, burn things because you see, everyone is doing mistakes, I'm doing mistakes sometimes okay, let's check the other laptop, so this is done Let's see what's wrong with this one. If it's still not charging with a with a proper charger then can be uh, you know the power management chip no no can't be that no because uh, it's going to the super IO yeah when the super IO is speaking with the uh, is reading the charger ID. You know what I found? You have some components, and uh, Dell make it nice. You're not not like Lenovo. You sure the that the, the, the pin ID with the plus and you burn the super I/O? No, not on Dell. Dell they use some uh, center diode connected to ground on that uh, on that line. But they use resistors, center diodes, and uh, you can't burn the super IO. But I did found that center on the on the charging ID on the laptops burned. 
was a Dell. Yeah, Dell. Dell. I found like two. And uh, yeah, I found that thing shorted. I just removed the short and was looking fine. Wow, this is a. This is a. Cut out the charges. Short circuit. This is a proper laptop. This is a nice one, you know. I always. Uh, we, this is a studio, yeah? Dell Studio? No, Dell. Uh, Dell Precision. M6 800 But this is a nice laptop This is crazy like how heavy it is Look at the size of this laptop Wow Probably this is their uh, uh, Customer top line Nice fingerprint reader, i7 Dell Precision M6800 This is a nice laptop Okay Let's see what he's saying, he's saying when you plug the charger Okay, here everything is bent on the back, here but I don't know why. When you plug the charger, let's plug the charger. And the charger, we do have the blue light. Let's see, it's getting cut down. Yeah, the light goes off. So this looks like an easy job But only looks like, you remember the one with the connector? That one was looking like an easy job But it took me like one hour Give me one second. Now how do we open this thingy? I can't see any screw Okay This screw is missing We have a screw here And what is coming out then? How we can open this machine? Hmm. We do have another screw here But I don't think this laptop Have only two screws Ah, oh, don't tell me, this is the battery? No, I took out the battery No, it's no screw But this thingy, what's this? How do you open this thingy? Uh, 
Sliding? Yes, yeah, sliding. <laughs> I figured it out. Look here at the charging ports wire. Look how big they are. Four wires for plus, four for, for minus. And the blue wire is probably the charging ID. This is solid. This is solid. I like like solid things. What's this? Is this the hard drive? Yes, for the it's for the hard drive, it's no hard drive plugged in, yeah? Good, okay. But nice build, nice build. I like these kind of laptops. How do we reach the motherboard? That's a big question. How do we reach the motherboard? Even the frame, the this frame has has the 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 their own screws the frame itself so how we can go inside we have to take everything out like every screw that's the dvd Mm. And the problem I have to leave like in half an hour. Ah, even less than a half an hour. How we can fix this in 20 minutes? How we can fix a motherboard in 20 minutes? Anyone knows? Any idea? Some magic? So magic will be helpful. The brute force method, let's try it. 19 volts, 5 amps, let's try. Let's see. Minus, plus. No, it's taking 5 amps and nothing happened and we have 2 volts. That means the short is not here, it's probably after uh, 1, 2 MOSFETs. That's not helpful. But this is a challenge. You have to fix this motherboard in 20 minutes. If not, I will change the channel name and uh, new by electronics repair. What do you think? <laughs> Newby, newbie, yeah, newbie. You know, I need a faster screwdriver. If we are lucky to be a capacitor, yeah. But if it's a MOSFET, that will not be that easy. This thing is not, but this is cracked. Look, even this metal is cracked. So probably the laptop has been dropped. Look, met is metal or plastic? Oh, I think it's plastic. So we open most of the screws, let's take out the keyboard, let's see how the keyboard is coming out. Or whatever is coming out here. But the keyboard is so nice. You can't see any clip on the keyboard, that's crazy.
And the problem is I don't want to damage because it looks like an expensive laptop. Okay, this thing is coming out. Yeah, we do have one more screw here. So what's going on here? This screw, okay, even this fan is coming out, good. I think we are about to change the name of the channel. The keyboard has to come out somehow. The frame? Yeah, the frame. The frame is coming out. I never opened a laptop like this before. Okay, the frame is out. And we have few screws here. The keyboard, the keyboard and the mouse. And look, they have a, a digital thingy here. <clears throat> and we have more screw. Let's open everything. RAM memory, extra slots. Good. And it's coming out. Wow, I can bet it's a dedicated graphic chip on this one. Okay, let's take these cables out this so I'm really in a rush yeah so I'll go straight I'll try to find the fault like quickly and we can go home yeah Probably we have more screws. Okay, let's see. Yeah, so this is coming out. What's this? Okay, this is a touch pad. Okay. 
Good. So what do we have here? We have a lab. Wow, this is so nice. This is, you see, every laptop should, should be built like. Look at this heatsink. This is gra this this graphic card. It's on the socket. The processor. This is so nice. You see, that that's a nice laptop. Probably I will buy one if I will need a laptop. Okay, let's see what's going on here. What's this? This is a connector. Okay, let's come with the power supply quickly. Maybe we can see some smoke somewhere. And uh, let's use a ground. And uh, okay, we have to find the first MOSFET, second MOSFET, and come with the power after the second MOSFET. And probably it's on the other side of the board, or not. Let me take this out. Let me take this out. What's the time? Okay, I still have time. I have to pick up the keys from school with Diana. So we have two MOSFETs. Most likely this is first and second MOSFET. We have a... Um, you can see them or not? You can't? We have the current sensor there. So that's the first, second MOSFET. Yeah. You can see this was heat up. You can see this got a lot of heat. Let's come with the power supply here on this point after the second MOSFET. Okay. Ground here, and we have a short one point uh, two point three amps. Let's higher the amps. 3 amps, 4 amps. Nothing smoking. You see, now um, if I, I have an infrared thingy, it will be more easy. So, what is shorted? What is getting hot? It's a MOSFET or a capacitor? What it is? Come on, speak with me, motherboard. Speak with me. Talk. Speak with me. I'm friendly. I think we are wasting the time. What's this? Let's take out the motherboard. Can I take the motherboard out with the heatsink? No. Can be the graphic card. Can be. Okay. Let's take the card out. That's a nice graphic card. Look, even behind of the graphic card you have heatsink. 
You see, they can build good stuff, but they don't want it. Look, some nice heat sink. Let's check the short one more time. Ground. Plus. And it's still short, so it's not a graphic card. Okay, the processor hit sync. This is a screen uh, the dis the display connector. Ah, oh, come on! I found it. Ha ha! So we are will not gonna change the name of the channel, yeah? Check that. Huh? What do you think about that? Looks dodgy or not? Looks dodgy or not? Wow. Now, what are we going to do tomorrow, yeah? Because obviously it's not time to put all back together today, but we can test. We can test the laptop. And uh, obviously I will replace the thermal paste because that's normal, yeah? You can see the thermal paste is, is dry on, uh, on the processor and uh, GPU. Now, all what I want is to test. I just want to see it on and I can go home. I can go to pick up my kids. We should check with the power supply, you think? Let's check. Ground. Plus. It's still short. Come on. Come on. It's still short. I can't believe. It's still short. So what is the prob probability to have two faults? Hmm? What is the prob probability to have two faults? Not very high. But probably because I love to blow up. Got hot and blow up. Probably even the... Even the MOSFET, the next MOSFET blow up, because... Hmm. What do you think? Let's see if he's getting hot that MOSFET. Minus. Plus. No. No, it's something else. So we have a second fault. Okay, something is getting hot. Here, something is getting hot here.
it's on the other side of the board, the MOSFET. It's on the other side of the board, the MOSFET. Let's check this MOSFET first, yeah? No, this MOSFET is gone. So the other MOSFET is getting hot because that's the one which is connected to ground. And this is connected to plus. And this is shorted. <sighs> what is a dual MOSFET? It's a dual MOSFET. Let's get the hot air. Nozzle. It's a dual MOSFET or not? It is a dual MOSFET. I don't even have something like that. But I'm not sure if this is burned. I'm not sure. Yeah, so obviously I check wrong. I don't think this is burned. I don't think. Well, I'll check. I'll check. Let's get the power supply again. Ground plus. And it's still short. What did I told you? It's not a MOSFET. I told you it's not a MOSFET, but it's something on the other side of the board. Okay, the MOSFET is back, and the only chance to fix this is to take out the motherboard. The time? Oh, so I have five minutes, five minutes. Five minutes. If we can't fix it in five minutes, we have to rename the channel. Let's take the board out. Why the board is not coming out? Any idea? Because it has Wi-Fi card, why not? A BIOS battery. Okay. What's this? This is a switch, a Wi Fi switch. Okay, 
Okay. Okay, let's take out the charging port. Let's get down the laptop. Let's see what is on the other side of the board. Here, so check here. You can see the burn thingy. Yeah, have a look here. Look here. What's this? What's this? Now don't tell me the board is burned. The layers. <laughs> Can be. Can be. Okay, let's check for short. Power supply, ground. And it's still short. It's still short. The board, the board is burnt, the layers, most likely. So how you can have two capacitors burnt? One on one side of the board, and the other one on the other side of the board. Huh? Let's try, let's see. Which is plus this? <laughs> no, this is ground. This is plus. Even this one is burned. Come on, come on. What's wrong with, with these capacitors? Let's check now, yeah? Ground plus and it's no short. Quick, 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 quick. We are testing the laptop on we are leaving, yeah. Like quick, quick. And tomorrow, tomorrow I'll put all back together, yeah. All what we need now is to test it. That's all. That's all what we need. You know when you hurry up and. And actually, more bad things happen. <clears throat> well, hopefully, it's not the case. All what we need is to test it and leave it. And tomorrow, we can do the rest. Yeah? Only one screw here, just to test, that's all. Heat sink. No fans, doesn't need fans. Power button, let's plug the charger. Where is the charger? Charger, charger. Plug the charger. The charger is plugged and it's on. We need the power button. Where is the power button? Power button. The power button is here and has a ribbon cable connected here. Power. It's on, I can see the light. We have no picture. 
because we unplug the BIOS battery and we have to wait a little bit and the laptop will come on. So it's off, power on, then should work. And it's on. Huh? What do you think about this? What do you think about this? So it's working fine, okay? Good. We're not gonna change the name of the channel. Stop now. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if you like the video. And see you on the next one. Bye.